from a desolate California town full of ghosts to the most terrifying place in all of Alaska. Here are 10 of the creepiest towns in America. Maybe you've even been to one. Number 10. Calico, California There are a lot of freaky ghost towns scattered across America, and Calico is one of the creepiest. It's arguably the best experience you can have in a real ghost town from way back in the 1800s. This place was first settled in California in 1880, and much of its dark and troublesome past can still be found in the preserved buildings today. It's situated in the Mojave Desert and over 100 years ago had been a thriving mining community. There had been about 500 silver mines in the area, with a population of roughly 3,500 people. However, the dream died in 1890 when silver prices crashed, and by 1900, Calico was a completely abandoned town. It's remained abandoned that way ever since, with the exception of a 1950s purchase that turned Calico into a living museum and tourist attraction. But this place is not without its ghost stories. One of the biggest tales of paranormal activity involves a woman named Lucy Lane, who's the most commonly spotted entity in all of Calico. It's been said that she used to run the general store in town with her husband, and they'd been among the residents who moved out after the silver prices crashed. Then, for whatever reason, they returned in 1916 after the town was abandoned. They lived the rest of their lives in the town alone. So it does make sense that the lonely ghost of Lucy Lane would cling to the place where she spent most of her life. You can apparently see her wandering home from the general store, and sometimes she can even be spotted as a ghostly apparition standing behind the counter, waiting to sell you horse feed and other old-timey stuff. Number 9. Rhyolite, Nevada The old ghost town of Rhyolite, Nevada is definitely creepy. Some of the original town buildings still stand, although they're nothing more than crumbling ruins at this point. And while the town itself can be a little spooky at night, the main attraction here in terms of creepiness is the cemetery. It's actually been labeled the spookiest cemetery in all of Nevada. It's known properly as the Bullfrog Rhyolite Cemetery, and just one look is enough to know it must be haunted. The cemetery is located a little ways from the main town, and some of its notable features include wooden grave markers that are at least a century old, and several human-shaped mounds of rocks that likely have a body buried not far beneath the surface. It's oddly calm with the vast desert stretching on in all directions. But at night, you definitely get the sense that you're in a place you're not supposed to be. There have been alleged reports of creepy sounds emanating from the graveyard in the night, and even orbs of light that have been spotted hovering above the ground between the graves. Many paranormal experts believe this place is haunted by at least a handful of restless spirits. It could be all the unmarked graves, or it could just be a side effect of the eerily quiet atmosphere. Hey, if you're gonna hang out in Vegas and need a break, this might just be the place for you. Number 8. Cahalba, Alabama Cahalba was once the capital city of Alabama, but now it's nothing but a bunch of haunted ruins turned into an archaeological site. This is a far stretch from the abandoned desert towns of Nevada or California, as this place has the thickness of the forest to give it an extra creepy vibe. There are still some buildings left from the original days of the town, including remains of the brick columns from a long-forgotten mansion, a church, an old slave quarters, some cemeteries, and a few homes. The capital was actually moved from the town because of serious flooding in 1825, and residents quickly abandoned the site afterwards. Perhaps the creepiest place of all is the St. Luke's Episcopal Church, which still stands today even though it was built in 1850. It's a carpenter Gothic-style church with a sharply pointed roof, thin glass windows, and faded wooden walls, and it looks more like something out of the Amityville Horror than any modern church. And while there have not been too many ghost stories surrounding this place, you can bet the spirits here are restless. It once held a federal prison, which was used as a camp for Union soldiers during the Civil War, and the number of people who died back in the early 1800s is probably a lot. There's even a slave burial ground originally founded in 1819, with the last known burial being 1957. So you know there are some seriously bad vibes, especially at night. And now for a really cold place. But first, be sure to subscribe for more awesome videos and remember to let me know if you've been to any of these towns in the comments below. Number 7. Kennecott, Alaska The Kennecott Copper Mines in Alaska is definitely the creepiest place in the far north. We already know that Alaska is littered with abandoned settlements from both the US and Russia, deserted prospecting sites, and the wreckage of countless doomed expeditions. 
But Kennecott is something truly special. It has the single greatest concentration of paranormal activity in all of Alaska. And it was also one of the richest mines ever back in its day. It even had an old railroad to haul ore up and down the snowy mountains. Today, the entire town of Kinnicott is abandoned 4,000 feet up on the mountainside. And as society encroaches once again with attempts to redevelop the area, phantoms have been spotted more than ever. There are persisting ghost stories, all the way from the old tracks up into the decrepit and abandoned buildings of the mine. The thing is that because of its picturesque location up in the mountains, the vast remoteness of the place, and its reputation for being haunted, many tourists make the dangerous journey up into the mines. And according to a lot of their stories, they have seen some pretty spooky things. According to Anchorage Daily News, there have been multiple reports of grave markers going missing, as if moved by the spectral hands of ghosts. The same news report also claims that in the late 1990s, when development began on some government housing in the area, workers reported hearing the voices of phantoms so often that the work became unbearable and the project was subsequently canceled. Number 6. South Pass City, Wyoming Wyoming is one of the spookiest states in America. Thanks to its vast wilderness, a dark trip in the forest can quickly turn into the haunting experience of a lifetime. And that brings us to South Pass City, an old gold boom town along the Oregon Trail. It's primarily abandoned now with nothing but a few old wood structures left in the vicinity. But there does remain some horrifying stories that make the town creepier than most others in Wyoming. It's all about a woman named Polly Bartlett and her father, who ran a small inn just south of the main city. They would offer travelers a cooked meal and some good hospitality. But what the travelers didn't know is that Polly and her father would feed them arsenic inside of their steak or whiskey, strip them of everything they owned, then bury them out back in the cattle field. It's been estimated that Polly and her father murdered at least 22 men who made the fateful mistake of stopping at the Bartlett Inn. This horror hotel still remains in the town today, and you can bet it would be the most unsettling place to spend the night. Who knows just how many more bodies are buried beneath the floorboards? Number 5. Centralia, Pennsylvania Centralia in Pennsylvania is probably the most well-known abandoned town in all of the USA. That's because over 50 years ago, a mine fire started burning beneath the town and is still burning today. The problem was that the coals inside of the pit began to burn, and even after spending around $7 million to put out the fire, it just kept burning. By the 1980s, the fire raging under Centralia had spread so far that dangerous and toxic gases were seeping into people's homes. With only about 1,000 residents living in half as many houses, the government decided everyone needed to move. And so, Centralia was abandoned overnight. Well, not quite abandoned. There are still about six people left in the town. The streets are empty and bare. Only a couple of houses are still standing. The underground fire is still spitting fumes out through the cracked pavement. But there are still a couple of countrymen who live in the town and even attend the small white church. It's the Blessed Virgin Mary Ukrainian Catholic Church and it stands relatively unaffected by the destruction. Imagine stumbling upon this town through the forest and seeing the six only townspeople gathered in front of the spooky church while flames and fumes spat up through the ground around them. You'd think you walked into a nightmare. Of course, you can't actually see flames shooting out of the ground. That's a total dramatization. However, the government has come forward to say that the fires burning beneath the city could go on for another hundred years. So, this will be a pretty cool attraction for a long time to come, and it'll probably only get creepier. Number 4. Glen Rio, New Mexico Glen Rio, New Mexico was once a bustling little town along Route 66. This town straddled the border between New Mexico and Texas, and was originally founded back in 1903 when the Pacific Railroad passed through the area. They had a station located in the town, complete with a post office and other businesses. In a 1946 guidebook on driving Highway 66, Glen Rio is described as a town populated by 84 people with a store, a gas station, and not a single tourist facility. That leads us to believe that the motel was constructed after 1946. However, that hotel is now decayed and in ruins, with its sign broken and the elements gradually reclaiming the rooms where people once slept. When the old Highway 66 became obsolete after 1956, so too did Glen Rio. It just kind of shriveled up and blew away and now it remains haunted and creepy. The old closed-down diner with its silent cafe and peeling walls, and the gas station with its faded colors, and all the abandoned homes in the area. If I were moving from Texas to New Mexico, this is definitely not the place I'd want to spend a night. 
Number 3. Bannock, Montana Ghosts walk the streets of Bannock. This small abandoned town in Montana is a terrifying ruin, arrested in decay and absolutely creepy. The town was originally founded in 1862 when a small group set up shop on the banks of the Grasshopper Creek. After finding some gold, the settlement began to grow. The town was named Bannock after the Bannock indigenous peoples who had lived in the region. And in 1863, just one year after the group sat down beside the creek, there were at least 5,000 people living in the town. But like most mining towns in the United States, not long after the initial boom came a huge bust. Of course, this was after a flood of prostitution, shootouts, hangings, robberies, outlaws, corrupted sheriffs, vigilante justice, and all kinds of other chaos besieged the city. Within just a year, the place went belly up. Now you can find the remains of one of the shortest lived towns ever, with the buildings still in surprisingly good condition and the ghosts still putting up quite a fuss. The state park officials have actually kept this town in pretty good condition. In the autumn months especially, tourists and ghost lovers alike flock here to try and catch a glimpse of one terror or another. Number 2. St. Elmo, Colorado In Colorado, St. Elmo is probably the creepiest ghost town you can find. The town is located 10,000 feet up in the Sawatch Mountain Range and it was originally founded in 1880. Like most of the ghost towns on this list, it was found because of gold and silver. There were roughly 2,000 people in St. Elmo at its peak. But then one day, the mining industry vanished, and the people of the town disappeared. The railroad was no longer running in 1922, and the town was subsequently abandoned. However, the story gets even creepier. A rich family moved into the abandoned town in 1881 with the hopes that they could keep it alive. They began to rent cabins and to try to make a living for themselves. But according to legend, the family never left. Their youngest daughter, Annabelle, still haunts the streets of St. Elmo today. She was supposedly a cruel and unusual woman in her life, often referred to by the few remaining townsfolk as Dirty Annie, because she would wander into the streets with her hair in tangles and a shotgun slung over her shoulder. Suffice it to say, she was a bit of a nut. But she can apparently still be found meandering about St. Elmo on a cold and lonely night. So you best be careful. Number 1. Terlingua, Texas. Terlingua is located in southwest Texas. It's also the most visited ghost town in all of Texas. If you're into creepy desert towns, this one is right up your alley. The first settlement ever in the area was a small Mexican village above the Rio Grande. But after metal mercury was found nearby, the area became a bustling mining district. The local languages were both English and Spanish, along with some Native American languages. By the late 1880s, mercury began to be produced in mass quantities. The town was a big hit for miners and industrialists alike, until production began to decline in 1936, at which point pretty much everyone packed up and left. After 1940, the slim population of around 350 slowly declined until Terlingua was nothing but a bunch of rock and wood and stone. Now the town is completely abandoned and a popular tourist destination. You can visit the creepy cemetery with its dozens of wooden crosses staked into the ground. You can check out the remains of the mines and the encampments that the workers lived in. You can even go to the old Starlight Theater and see if you can spot a phantom working backstage. Many of the former buildings are still in relatively good condition. And if you're feeling brave, you can always show up in the night and see what happens. Though, not many people would recommend camping out alone in Terlingua with its long and treacherous past. Which of these horrifying ghost towns would you love to visit on your next vacation? Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks as always for stopping by, and be sure to come back soon for another creepy video right here on American Eye.